So I was here at Innerbike, this is 2014, we went through a little presentation with Marcelo. How's it going? And you're on the Zahoos team, or what's your role? Yeah, well, I am uh, the CEO of... Uh, CEO. CEO of uh, Zeus. Uh, Zeus, thank Zeus. you. I've been Zeus. saying it wrong. <laughs> it's very hard to say for anybody. Uh, Zeus is a young startup. We do this, uh, we have been presenting this all-in-one kit mm -hmm. that is featuring uh, this uh, Bike Plus technology, yep. which is the first, let's say, non-plug-in uh, parallel hybrid in the bicycle industry. It's like the Toyota Prius of bicycles. Yeah. And uh, so it creates a new, a new space in between uh, conventional pedelec and muscular bicycles. Yes. So you can use it as a pedelec, and it's very simple, connect to your smartphone, you download the app from iTunes, mm -hmm. or you can use it on this Bike Plus power mode where the, you never recharge the battery. So you just, uh, the system will balance your energy when you are efficient, will drain some energy from you. When you are a little efficient, will help you. Yeah. When you brake, you slow down, it, you then you recharge the battery. So and braking is that, that back pedaling. That back pedaling, you will feel the brake torque and you will feel that that is all energy that you put back on the battery. Right. So it's kind of uh, fun for people to use it. So a couple of quick questions just about yes. specs. How much does it weigh? So it's a three kilograms. The, three kilograms. The, the set. So this bicycle here is 12 kilograms. So 12 kilograms. Is, uh, it felt light. It's very yeah, nice. It's and you know, there's no wires or anything. It's got batteries in it that are special technology, you said? Yes, this is Boston powered battery cells that are designed to work at a very high temperature. Mm -hmm. So it's a high specification components. So it's a bit expensive, but uh, you know, you have a battery life of uh, 3,000 cycles. 3,000 cycles, that's awesome. And again, it balances it. It makes sure that you don't discharge too far or overcharge yes, automatically. The battery management system we have is uh, very, yeah. very advanced. And also, we control the system through uh, four sensors. So we have speed, cadence, uh, accelerometer, gyroscope. So we have, uh, let's say, a high quality of information and yes. uh, so this uh, provides uh, this uh, smoothness uh, yes. and also the system adjusts uh, the power as a function of the slope. Mm -hmm. Automatic will understand if you're going uphill or going downhill. Yeah. If they, they if have uh, you know the, also the quality of the of the pavement would be understood and That's the power so adjusted. Yeah, if it's so. like a dirt road versus a smooth tarmac, yes. um, it will kind of sense, yeah, I so noticed that. On one that. side it's so simple that you have no interface apart the smartphone. Yeah. On the other side there is, you know, this amount, a huge amount of electronics that is controlling yeah. everything. Very and smart. Uh, is just uh, optimizing your, uh, your physical body. At the end, we at Zeus, we are experts of uh, hybridization mm -hmm. of uh, mobility and uh, to find the best energy balance between uh, the human body and the electric motor. It's awesome. I, I really enjoyed riding it and uh, I, I wanted to also call out that you mentioned before if, you know, after years that something happened to the batteries, they were getting low, you said they were replaceable by the yes. end user? Yes, you just take the, the wheel off, mm -hmm. you open the case and the case has been designed that you have some uh, uh, subsystems inside so you just remove the battery pack and replace uh, with uh, the battery pack that we sell uh, right. we sell as uh, after sales kit so it's uh, what, si what what size is the battery on this like voltage amp hours the battery is 160 watt hour watt hour capacity. okay yeah so let's say it's a half of a conventional battery mm -hmm. but the system the, let's say in one side the battery management system uh, and on the other, the bike plus power modes right. uh, give you the possibility of having, let's say, from a 30 kilometers range for a conventional pedelec use yeah. to endless capacity. Right. And you can also select somewhere in between so that if you have uh, to ride uh, 50 kilometers, you yeah. just decide the the level of extension of the range that you wish to have for that day. That was the slider on the app. So what you were saying is you can kind of slide it over to say, I'm going to charge this when I get home. And you know, here's the cap. You can take the cap off and you can plug it in. Or you can slide it the other way and say, I don't ever want to charge it. And it will, it will sense when you're at a higher cadence, when you're efficient as a human, and it will start to uh, shave yes. a little bit of a charge off that. Is this the app right here? This is the app. So you see here, it's very simple. This is the, the slider where you change the power mode. Here we are on e-bike, so conventional pedelec power mode. Mm -hmm. You can slide it to the bike plus power mode, and here is endless capacity. Right. Or you can go to 
bike, so this is an conventional bicycle. Oh, so no power. Just, no power. Just, yeah. Or you can decide to be somewhere between uh, the pedelec and the bike plus power modes. Huh. And uh, so that's uh, the system we say, okay, well, I will give you a bit less power yeah. because uh, I need to, you know, extend the range to yeah. whatever, 50, 60 kilometers. And it shows the battery, so you can kind of make a judgment call. Yes, right? so you're the battery pack and then, uh, then you can change also the brake torque. Hmm. You can decide if you want to have a strong brake torque or yeah. lighter. When you backpedal for when the you regen. Okay. And then you just go back to the uh, main screen where you have also the lock function. So if you stop for a coffee, yeah. you just push the lock. Oh, like a cafe lock. Yeah, like, like we were saying. Lock. So yes. no one can drag. They'd have to pick the bike up and, you know. Exactly. Yes, right. Of course. So it's not full safety, but it's a, for a short stay. Yeah. Uh, you know, the bicycle will not move. It's an because inhibitor. Because the, the, the system will stop. Yeah. And so for short stay, it's, it's good enough. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You know, it's great to, to get a hands-on impression. People have been excited about the technology, hearing about it online. Yes. And I've got to say, you know, it was it was very smooth. As you were saying, If I, even though there's no torque sensor, if I was just barely pedaling, it seemed to notice and it, it didn't overpower me, um, which was very, very nice. And just so small and light. Uh, in this case, you know, it's built into a smaller wheel for, for this, you know, it's a little bit of a smaller bicycle. Um, but it sounds like you're you're working with companies to put this in, in bikes and people will get it eventually. Yeah, and yes, yes, we have started mass production in uh, April this year. Okay. So we have a production plan for 2014 that uh, thankfully has already been filled with orders. Wow, okay, so we're and on our way, yeah. Yes, so now we're working on uh, to on the production of next year. We will be producing 5,000 units. Wow. And uh, we want to sell uh, B2B to makers in Europe and US. Interesting, interesting, wow. Well, I am excited for you guys. Thank you so much for the presentation and the, uh, the test, Marcel. Yes, <laughs> Cheers. nice meeting you. You too. watt three kilogram 30 kilometers in pedelec mode smartphone interface 